We're here today as a bit of a lead up to Earth Day 2023 and to provide an update on how Council is investing in Windsor through urban forestry and horticulture efforts throughout the entire community. In fact, the 2023 City Budget approved by City Council allocated over $4 million this year to expand, to protect and to manage our urban tree canopy with an additional $3 million for horticulture efforts across the City in 2023 alone. With funding and support of City Council, we are seeing some incredible successes. We have doubled the number of large caliper trees that are being planted annually in the City to at least 2,500 per year. We have also established a modern digital inventory of trees that are along streets and public parks and completed the City's first comprehensive canopy cover study. The results of that study showed that Windsor's canopy cover has, riven, has sorry, risen to around 19%, close to the average for large cities in Ontario, with further improvements expected to come. This year, the city will again plant over 2,500 large caliper trees, with an additional 3,500 smaller trees, seedlings and saplings to be planted through community partnerships with groups such as IRCA and Scout Tree Group. Right now, we are currently growing 75,000 specialty plants and we are also um, propagating 17,000 uh, perennials. May we maintain 10,000 trees and shrubs um, in, our, in the city itself and we plant over 73,000 tulip bulbs in 300, um, uh, 300 square feet of floral and um, uh, shrub beds. We beautify, besides all the, our major parks, we also beautify 62 different separate areas, including um, community centers and arenas, and the BIAs as well. I think COVID accentuated the need for great outdoor spaces and trails and places for people to gather and outdoor spaces for people to use. And so we as a council have redoubled our efforts to make sure we're making the right investments in the right places uh, to put the city um, on the map when it comes to tree canopy and tree coverage, but also active spaces for residents.